I'm rocking stages all across the ocean. And from being a 14 year old, thinking this is everything on stage in high school, which at the time it was, to now rocking stages in Paris, Milan. I'm an independent, unsigned, self-managed artist that has been overseas eight or nine times. Introduce you to this pretty brown, brown, long legs. Have you seen her? Dudes wanna smash and bras wanna be her. I know it sound rude, it's true. When you see her, you see what I mean. She a, a born leader, number one on the scene. That's real. Queen biz, don't care what none of y'all feel. Living her life till she get her fill. Dipping off in the light, the rest stay still. The biggest first moment on stage that I really remember was my ninth grade talent show. And it was awesome because that's when I realized, like, I can do this thing because... I started telling people to do stuff and they were doing it. So like I'll say, say this and they say it, or get up and they got up, <laughs> you know? I'm like, you know what? I think I'm wanting something here. You ain't the first, but you're gonna be the last one. Coming round here, trying to pull a fast one. D-Y putting them on blast, I see why we cry all because of passion. But I can't keep going round and round. Told myself I'd never let another bring me down. I I literally found a roommate online, packed my car, and moved January 1st, came down. And um, I got here, and at first it was a little bit of a culture shock. I remember finding a venue, going to finding an open mic, and going and sitting in the corner. And being like, oh, I don't know, this is so different from New York. And because um, New Yorkers are always like, you know, there's nothing like New York. <laughs> what is this, right? But after a while, I kind of started finding my people, finding the scene. And I opened for a group called Little Brother and at a sold out show at the same venue that I first sat in for an open mic a couple of years later. And everybody was like, who is this girl? And they just got behind me. And I always say they put me on their shoulders and was like, you got it, go get it. And then the radio started playing me here. First place ever played on the radio is Tampa, Florida. Um, and then it went from there to internet radio and connections and international. Um, but it started here. If you have something of quality, somebody somewhere wants to support it. And for me, I left the city of dreams where it's oversaturated and everybody's going to to pursue their dreams and goals and came down to Tampa, Florida and was able to stand out. Biggest challenges along the way are sometimes just motivating and continuing to push myself when I get stagnant or when I get doubtful, you know. Um, I'm, I've been able to do a lot of amazing things, but that doesn't mean that I don't have days where I'm like, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I don't know about this. Am I going to really go back overseas? Am I really going to go to the next level? Can I really, before this album, can I really make another album as good as my last one? You know, we all run into those things. So it's the biggest challenge is pushing yourself through those things and believing in yourself. Being a woman in a male-dominated industry, especially when you're not talking about sex or half-naked, <laughs> is um, it can be challenging because I know that I'm slept on or that people don't give me the credit that I, I deserve. And I don't mean that in an arrogant way, but I work hard and I've, I'm an independent, unsigned, self-managed artist that has been overseas eight or nine times on tour. There are artists who are assigned to major labels who haven't been overseas yet, you know? So people, I feel like, you know, sometimes they kind of act like they don't see it. Or what I like to say is they love me, but on the low, like we got this secret relationship, you know? <laughs> Where it's like, you're amazing, keep going, keep doing what you're doing, we need you. But you're not telling everybody else. 
know I told you before, I never leave this. You and me together, better believe this. You and me forever, they never seen such beauty. You and my love, I mean truly. You decided to choose me from everyone on this earth. You determine my worth. See what I mean is, whoever I was, you would add to. You were glad to increase my value. I knew I was flat too, cause I had you. I wasn't the cutest girl, but yo, I bag you. That's why I keep you close and never let up. They don't understand. I've become very grateful for my organic growth. I know that every single person who supports me, supports me on the strength of who Diana is, who Dynasty is, and the brand and the music, not because, you know, I'm compromising myself. So for, I guess I'll say, it's a slow grind. It's a slower grind being a woman with um, integrity and principles in a male dominated industry. That's not to say that there aren't men in the industry who have integrity and principles. There are plenty and they help me. But I don't care though. I know I'm such a effing weirdo. How I spit it pretty, get respected in my city. Then suddenly you in front of me. I'm yelling, come and get me with a screw face and some tight jeans or a mini. My delivery is raw, but the smile is so pretty. And I motivate others to pursue their dreams by just, by pursuing mine. You know, people are inspired. I know for me, I'm inspired when I see someone doing what they love. They're happy about it. They're unapologetic about it. And they also show the struggles, like it's not easy. So, you know, I try to show people both sides when I, I might get 20 rejections before I get a yes. So I think showing people, I get rejected just like you, but I'm still going. This is why I'm able to do X, Y, Z. I know it seems weird, right? I'm full grown, but I feel like a kid. Like, I got so much to learn. Touch the fire just to see if it burns. Yeah, I know it's absurd. Cause by this time, I should know better. I'm such an independent woman, such a go getter. I'm so focused. My little word of advice to um, artists on the come up you know, be authentic, be real, hone your skills, work on your craft, be honest with yourself about what you're doing, and do the work. I think that's it. I just want to live. But how do you live when it's hard to forget? Hard to forget, but I gotta let go. And so I let it go because it's good for my soul. Soul is eternal, so I'm on the right road. And on the right road, I'll get where I need to be. And where I need to be is the place where you love. And the place where you love is the place you forget.